the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favourite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumour in the paddock, Croft, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's bashed his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. The car's looking OK, Aiden. See if he can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay. Trailing our teammate by 6.9 seconds. Gap to car in front is 1.5 seconds. behind is 1.9 seconds. laps of fuel remaining. job.
seconds per lap. Keep this up. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Top 10. is 2.0 seconds. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Good work, great pass. We're leading our teammate by 6.8 seconds.
the gap to the car behind is 2.8 seconds. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Plenty to look at there and a little bit ominous seeing the two Haas teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out of the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper, Ackerman, Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop him from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, 
Maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just... whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do.